hip joint it is a synovial joint articulation of the hip joint between head of the femur as ball and the acetabulum of the hip bone as socket it is a synovial joint of ball and socket variety it is more stable than the shoulder joint cause of stability of the joint number one acetabulum is much deeper number two surrounding muscles are powerful the surrounding ligaments are strong this is the hip joint between head of the femur as ball and this is the acetabulum as the socket the capsule of the joint the attachment of the capsule attach it to the margin of the acetabulum and the transverse ligament of the acetabulum of the hip bone attach it to the trochanteric line of the neck of the femur anteriorly and trochanteric crest posteriorly the capsule is reinforced by the ligaments of the joint the fibers of the capsule takes two directions circular and longitudinal directions at line of attachment of to the neck some fibers of the capsule ascend on the neck called retinacula which carry blood vessels to the neck of the femur this is the head of the femur and this is this is the head of the femur this is the cavity of the acetabulum this ligamentum teres carrying blood supply to the head of the femur synovial membrane of the hip joint this is the synovial membrane here lines the capsule of the joint and reflected on the intracapsular part of the neck of the femur there is a communication between the synovial cavity of the hip joint and the bursa deep to the iliopsoas muscle through an opening in the capsule of the hip the ligaments of the hip joint number one iliofemoral ligament takes inverted y shape the stem is attached to the anterior inferior iliac spine and the other limbs attached to the inter trochanteric line of the neck it is the strongest ligament in the body because it resists hyperextension of the hip joint number two pubo femoral ligament arises from the iliopubic eminence and blends with the anterior and the inferior part of the capsule number three ischio femoral ligament arises from the ischium just below the acetabulum to the posterior aspect of the capsule number four ligamentum teres it is a triangular ligament and the apex attached to the bit on the head of the femur while its base attached to the acetabular notch and transverse ligaments the main function of ligamentum teres is to carry blood supply to the head of the femur transverse acetabular ligament attached to the margins of the acetabular notch the labrum acetabular is a fibrocartilaginous rim which deepens the cavity of the acetabulum this is the three ligaments of the hip bone number one iliofemoral number two this is the pubofemoral ligament then ischiofemoral ligament posteriorly the factors maintain the stability of the hip joint number one surrounding muscles are powerful Number two, surrounding ligaments are strong. Number three, acetabulum is much deeper. Number four, labrum acetabular is a fibrocartilaginous ring attached to the acetabulum to deepen the acetabulum. And number five, atmospheric pressure, which is negative inside and the positive outside. Relations of the hip anteriorly from medial to lateral pectineus muscle Iliosoas, straight head of the rectus femoris, then posteriorly from above downwards, piriformis muscle, tendon of the obturator internus with two gemelli, then tendon of the obturator externus, quadratus femoris, and the sciatic nerve. Superiorly reflected head of the rectus femoris, inferiorly quadratus femoris muscle. This is the relation here from posterior. This is the piriformis muscle, quadratus femoris, and this is the sciatic nerve posteriorly. The movements at the hip joint, number one, flexion, occurred by psoas major and iliacus muscles, and assisted by pectineus, rectus femoris, and the sartorius. Extension by gluteus maximus and the hamstring muscles. Media rotation occurred by tensor fasciality and the gluteus medius and minimus. Lateral rotation occurred by obturator internus and externus 
quadratus femoris and the gluteus maximus. Number five, adduction occurred by the following adductor muscles in addition to gracilis, pectineus. Then abduction occurs by the following muscles, gluteus medius and minimus, assisted by piriformis and the upper fibers of the gluteus maximus muscle. Uh, number seven, circumduction. It is a combination of flexion, abduction, extension, and the adduction in this orders one after each other. This is the movements occur at the hip joint. This is uh, here the abduction, then adduction, rotation. The nerve supply of the hip joint from the femoral nerve, obturator nerve, and sciatic nerve. The posterior dislocation of the hip joint can cause injury to the sciatic nerve. Then arterial supply mainly from acetabular branch of the medial circumflex artery. This is branches from acetabular branches enter the hip joint through the ligamentum teres to supply the head of the femur. 